couple of us are very, very concerned about what's happening all over the world be because of the United States policies in, in other countries. And, um, and so we, we have a letter, and it's signed by a lot of people, and we wanted to give this to Congresswoman Baldwin. Okay. And I don't know, yes. does anybody else want to say anything? Any, we anyone? also have this list, this is just from the first few days of the war, of the actual people killed in Gaza. If you show that to her, okay. you'll see that there are, uh, is an overwhelming number of civilians. The last time we were here, she committed herself to be concerned about the civilians <coughs> in Gaza in terms of the siege of the war. And she, she told us, she assured us that there would be no damage to them by the siege, that all their supplies would get in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that did not happen, and now they're being slaughtered. Uh, just mm -hmm. this morning, they bombed the UN school compounds, so killed 40, 50 people, and we need to give that to her so that maybe she'll realize who's dying. Okay, thank you. Okay. And we'll be back to remind her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here's a, here's a, here's why a she's here. It's a news article, but it's a discussion okay. of uh, what Israel so? says uh, it is doing and what the actuality so is. It's just you? called Quiet Lies. Okay. Uh, and then it's policy towards Gaza. She needs to call for a ceasefire and an end to the halt as a minimum. This is outrageous that the Democratic Party is doing nothing. Mm, we would really like to see our Congress take the lead. We would really like to see her stand up about this and do something about it. Especially, uh, I think uh, we would like her to put a public statement on it. I don't think any statement has been out on this at all, and I think she should do that. And we would like to see her gain more education. A trip paid for by Israel for her to travel to Israel does not show her what's behind the wall, what's happening in the West Bank, what's happening in Gaza. And we would not just like this from her. We really demand this as Actually. her constituents, um, as people. We come from a progressive city as Madison, mm -hmm. and her silence is literally deadly. And we expect her to take action immediately. Yeah, we're being very polite, but in <coughs> fact, uh, there's an obscure, a quaint, obscure old document. We, the people of the United States, in order to do a number of things, do ordain and establish this Constitution of the United States, which means that we, the people, are the sovereign ruler of the United States. It means that our elected officials are actually our employees, and they're supposed to be working for us and representing us, not, well, I won't say, I will say, not representing the corporations. We vote for her. She, technically, she is and she ought to be our servant. So we're being polite, but in fact, we don't ask, we tell. So um, we appreciate you taking the letter and getting that to her, and um, we hope to hear from her mm -hmm. soon, very soon on this. This is especially what's going on in Gaza right yes. now is just is on the minds of everybody here. As you know, you've probably seen in the news, it's just a tragedy. And um, so and as like I saw, in a, I'm sorry, I oh. saw in an article earlier today, Americans are more and more, um, you know, just disgusted at what is happening in Gaza, and I think that if uh, Tammy Baldwin doesn't want to take the um, stand, you know, for the people of Gaza, that the American citizens will, because more and more people are disgusted by what's happening over there. So, um, if she's not going to take the lead, we will. I would go a step further. The blood of children is on our hands with silence. The starvation of a whole population is on our hands with silence. We need Tammy to speak for us. Yeah, mm -hmm. That's her job. Yeah. That's her job. Yeah. Uh, more than uh, four billion dollars are being, you know, sent every year, you know, to Israel. You know, U.S. provide with all type of weapons, and those weapons and our money that has been paid, you know, every year, as a tax, you know, that are being used, you know, to send. Israel and then to kill innocent people. And mm -hmm. I think that that has to stop. This war is going to come back to haunt the American people. If something isn't done, man, that it's going to be a total disaster. 
to uh, to follow up with uh, a fellow here said was those of us that have been working around this issue for many many years and we've come here many times with one key demand and that is that U.S. military aid to Israel must cease yeah. mm -hmm. for any of our representatives in Congress to vote in any way, shape, or form for military or other aid to Israel means the perpetuation, the perpetuation of that killing machine right, that is often acting as a surrogate for U.S. interests in the region. For, for Congressperson Baldwin, Congresswoman Baldwin, to claim to be a progressive congressperson and then to take money from APAC, right, to go to Israel on all expense paid trips for that, to get fed that propaganda, uh, we, f we find contemptible and out of, out, of, out of character with the sentiments of the vast, ma uh, vast majority of people in this congressional district. Right. I'm leaving these shoes here today. Amen. Right? We, learned, we learned recently, some of us learned recently through this episode uh, where this fella tossed a shoe at the uh, outgoing uh, commander in chief, right? He's not that down. that it's a sign that it's a known sign of disapproval, contempt, uh, and, and an, yes, an insult, right? I, we're leaving these shoes here. I've been asked to leave these shoes here by by people who can't do so uh, to show this disgust with our congressional delegation and their continued arming, supplying, and aiding of that Israeli killing machine. You can have these shoes and give them